I've never asked for a fight to happen more than this fight. Dillian White versus Luis King Kong Ortiz. It's perfect. Wouldn't you guys agree? Isn't it perfect for Dillian White to face Luis Ortiz next? Because pretty soon we're going to hear breaking news. Deontay Wilder will defend his WBC belt against Dominic Brazil sometime in May or June. And when that happens, guess what? Dillian White is going to be left without an opponent. Luis Ortiz just uh, annihilated and dominated Christian Hammer here in the Barclay Center. Right? So he has no opponent coming up. Wouldn't it be great and fantastic news if you heard breaking news? Dillian White versus Luis Ortiz. May, June. You know, at the O2 Arena in London. I feel that this is the perfect opportunity for Luis Ortiz and Dillian White to finally fight. Dillian White himself has said that he's been trying to get this fight with Luis Ortiz for years. Right? I believe two years. You know, he says Luis Ortiz is a coward and he ducked him. You know, there is some evidence to Dillian White telling Luis Ortiz to fight me in the UK last year. I remember him tweeting to Luis Ortiz saying, listen, fight me December 20th or 22nd of 2018. Fight me here in the UK. Um, and I remember at the time, Luis Ortiz was saying, no, I'm going to be fighting December 1st. Come over to the U.S. in and, 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 and the undercard of Wilder versus Fury. And that, that was the big holdup. That's why that, that fight didn't materialize. And if you remember, back when Eddie Hearn made Dillian White versus Derek Tazora, people were begging Eddie Hearn to make Dillian White versus Luis Ortiz. Everybody, I remember they did a poll. And 90% of the people voted for Dillian White to face Luis Ortiz rather than Dillian White face... Derek Chazor in the rematch because they saw that already. They wanted to see Luke because they think this is a good fight. The boxing public like the fight between Dillian White and Luis Ortiz. Well, guess what, people? Now it's the perfect time for both these men to face each other because now they're both free. Luis Ortiz has no fight coming up and if Dominic Brazil faces Deontay Wilder, well, D- Dillian White has no fight coming up. Right? Uh, Dylan White has said he, you know, even if Dominic Brazil chooses to face Deontay Wilder, he does he he wants to stay busy. He doesn't want to like be on a layoff, be on the sidelines. So this is perfect. This will be a great fight for both Dillian White and Luis Ortiz to gain respect by the fans, and it would also be a great fight for us because we would be entertained by that. That's I would be excited. Like I would generally be excited for Dillian White versus Ortiz. I don't care where it happened. I would be excited wherever it happened. I just I think it's a perfect matchup. And again, Dylan White said in, in the past himself, listen, I, I'm willing to take risk. So he should look at Luis, Luis Ortiz as he shouldn't be afraid to take this risk with Luis Ortiz, right? I think that's a good fight. Just because we could compare and we could just see. I just think it's an exciting matchup. And it's a good fight. You know, Luis Ortiz has been fighting these lower quality opponents like Christian Hammer, like uh, Raz Van Cajano, like Travis Kaufman ever since he lost to Deontay Wilder. This will be a good fight for him because this will be the first good opponent he's fought since losing to Deontay Wilder, right? Because again, all his last three opponents, he's been very active. He's fought three guys. Uh, Cajano, uh, Kaufman, and of course, last night, Hammer. But none of these guys are as good as Dillian White. So this would be a great fight for him just because it would be a, he, he finally put himself in a position where people will gain respect. I mean, if he, if he beat Dillian White, I will give him tremendous respect. I will give him massive credit. And the same thing for Dillian White, by the way. I would give him credit. I mean, again, because I, I have this feeling, bro, they're going to make Dillian White versus Lawrence or Coley. Come on. I mean, let's make a, a vote. Who would you rather see? Dillian White against Lawrence Acoli or Dillian White versus L- Luis Ortiz? You know you're going to say Luis Ortiz. Come on, man. I like Lawrence Acoli. He seems like a cool guy. He seems very, you know, he's, you know, he's, 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 you know, he calls himself hot sauce. But come on, bro. You're a prospect. You're a novice. I mean, he's not even a prospect. He's a novice, man. Guy has like 11 fights. He's in the level of a Daniel Dubai's, man. Come on, bro. I just want to see Dillian White in there in a good fight. Fine. Dominic, uh, Deontay Wilder stole Dominic Brazil. Fine, you screwed yourself over when you didn't take the fight with Anthony Joshua. You could have been in a massive fight this April. But you could still be in a massive fight. You don't have to be reduced to facing Lawrence Acoli. You could still be in a massive fight with Luis Ortiz. So I pray to God, Eddie, if you watch this video, make the fight happen. That's all I have to say, guys. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. 